Hello again. In this tutorial, I will take you through the NCASE evidence processor. So what I uh, intend to do here is to um, quickly introduce you to the NCASE evidence processor. Probably you already remember this from last semester. Um, so I will make it quick. Uh, we'll go through with the functions available uh, with NCASE evidence processor and then we'll have a little demonstration of different functions available in NCASE evidence processor. Now what NCASE evidence processor? One of the most important and powerful function of NCASE is the evidence processor. You can you can think it as a feature, as a function of um, uh, NCASE. What it will do, um, if I talk with an example, you know there are um, lots of um, let's say you are investigating a case where you know there are hundreds of emails. It is very difficult for you to find those emails as those will be stored uh, in a different format, in a computer understandable format uh, when you are checking that image file from in case. If you run the evidence processor, it will allow you to organize all of those emails in a nice um, nicely presented way what you can analyze investigate very easily it will also allow you to uh, recover deleted uh, folders and it will do many other things what i will take you through um, so when you are uh, investigating a case you have two choices option one you can go through with every single thing manually which will take ages to do Option two, after doing some basic things, you can simply run the evidence processor. It will organize so many things together and then you can spend some time just to take through with the evidence what has been organized by uh, evidence processor. But before you run the evidence processor, obviously you start the whole process. Uh, if you saw the last video in case um, tutorial one, and then you saw after creating a case you need to add that evidence you need to add your evidence to that case uh, before you start investigating a case you should set a time zone you should check whether that evidence uh, is working maybe just by doing a basic um, browsing those sort of things so when you are ready after checking everything and actually you should also check whether there is a deleted partition if there is a deleted partition you should recommend you should try to recover that before running the in case evidence processor so after you complete all of this you go and run the evidence processor how i will show you in a minute uh, what in case evidence processor does just some basic uh, function it will allow you to recover folder uh, people um, suspect may have deleted some folders files you can recover um, most of those you can do a detailed hash analysis again just few clicks evidence processor will do the job you don't have to do anything uh, it can go through with uh, compound files what um, uh, we see as a zip file or um, any sort of rar file it will go through with all of those uh, files and it will open those files for you um, it will go through with all the emails organize it in a nice way and then you can do the email analysis later on uh, you will find internet artifact search very useful you want to know how many websites that person been to um, what time cookies of those websites everything could be uh, organized by evidence processor if you know some keywords what you are looking for it's uh, the evidence processor will allow you to do an index search uh, by using those keywords or straight keyword search on top you can have uh, your own script in case does come up with number of built-in script but if you want to have your own script running to find something you can do that it will also allow you to do the file carving uh, what is file carving I will explain a bit later uh, but before you start the process you should really see whether there is any RAID LVM if it is you should configure it properly before you run the NCASE evidence processor. If there is any disk encryption, again, sort that out before running the evidence processor. Otherwise, it will be completely use. 
useless uh, it won't give you any result um, uh, so these two things these three things at least you should consider before running the NKS evidence processor so let's do a quick, quick demonstration how you can run the evidence processor and what are the features functions available within the evidence processor so this was our uh, end case case what we have created i have created before so this time i'm opening my case one and if you remember i did add an evidence before so i will be clicking on browse evidence and this was my evidence what was the c barrel test image so i'm opening that now to run the uh, in case evidence processor there's different ways you can run it what i will do i will simply right click on this uh, so i have right click on the image and then i will click on process look at uh, bottom here it will take some time depending on how fast your computer is okay now i got this ready so very quickly i will go through with this you have a couple of different options if it is um, a compressed file you want to uncompress it first but for me it's just the current file you can sorry i will go to prioritization first you can give some priority for example you want to check all the documents first before everything else maybe that's crucial to your case or you can say you want to process all the pictures first or perhaps you want to see um, certain things within certain dates if you know this person did something in between these dates possibly uh, you want to select one of those you can say you want to process only prioritized item so if you collected a hard disk which is which has been used maybe for last six years but you are um, sure that something has happened in last six months then you can select a date range here and you can select this process only prioritized item so whatever i wanted to process okay and uh, let me see 1970 19 sorry okay um 2016 oh why it is not enabling the feature okay um so actually if you select this then you need to have only those two you cannot select prioritized item within certain range i did not um, realize that okay i need to find an explanation for that but for time being um, you can say you want to process only the documents and the pictures nothing else uh, i will click on cancel now recover folder uh, you can reconstruct folder structure it will allow you to recover all the deleted folders file signature analysis will be very important for any investigation where you want to see whether a suspect has changed the file signature or actually um, th there is a pattern every file does have a file signature at the beginning uh, someone could change that file signature intentionally or sometimes maybe that file signature is unknown to the end case uh, but you want to do a detailed analysis simply if you see a file signature has been changed and uh, then obviously you want to check that manually just to make sure that nothing has been done uh, deliberately so file signature analysis you should click on that first protected file analysis will um, allow you to go through with some of those system protected files like um, any sort of password encryption it will do that analysis hash analysis will be very important for most of the cases you want to have maybe md5 hash maybe sha or maybe both um, you just click on ok in case we'll go through with every single file we have in this case will generate a hash value we'll keep that hash value in here compound files is the one what i was talking about any sort of zip file so you see a list here zip file and gzip tar rar all of those compound files 
will be extracted by ngase so that you can view it as you want to now find email you want to see um, what that person been doing any sort of communication so PST will be the most commonly used email client which is Microsoft Outlook uh, please bear in mind this feature will not investigate our uh, web browser based email accounts such as Gmail or um, Yahoo um, so whatever this person did by using their browser nothing will come out but um, me using outlook express like this um, all of my files all of my emails could be analyzed investigated and will be organized for the investigator to view so different sort of mail clients you can select find internet artifacts will be very important one you also want to search unallocated space which will go through with all those browsing history time uh, cookies bookmarks everything whatever i have in my browsers will be picked up by this function you can search for the keywords if you know certain keywords that this person is looking for um, let's say you are looking for any sort of drug dealings particular um, issue uh, maybe child pornography anything like that you can search for the keywords what is um, very useful for you, what will be very useful for you, if you click on this um, index text and metadata. This will allow you to index every single uh, character you have in this um, evidence. Um, therefore, when you try to search for something later on, uh, having an index will give you much faster result through the search. Now mainly I wanted to go through with this modules, very important functions here. So what I did, I clicked on this corner modules. You should click on system info parser, which will allow you to identify all the Windows artifacts, such as all the software installed, all the hardware were connected, what operating system version are there, um, network connectivity, what are the USB devices were connected there. So if you select all of these, it will go through with this um, evidence image and it will find all of those information, will provide you those information in a very nice way. You can do file carving, it will be very important. Let's say someone has deleted a file. Um, so by going to recycle bin, still you can't see that file yet that file does exist within that hard drive i believe you already know that um, now if you think you are looking for document file you can select document from here and then you know what type of document file you are looking for you just select those particular options and you go to next um, you can export that file as well directly so what it will do it will go through with all of your unallocated space wherever it will find a file signature it will try to reconstruct that file just by going through with um, the data found in that particular sector uh, and most of the times probably it will um, reconstruct that file you can export those files outside of your end case just by selecting the path and clicking finish here uh, even if you don't export it, you still have it within your end case and you can review those files. So file carving will be very important for you. However, please bear in mind, if you ask to do the file carving and you select a couple of diff these different types of files here and there, that will increase the processing time significantly. So uh, if you are doing file carving, strong recommendation would be to have a powerful computer to do the file carving. Uh, now you can do all the Windows event logs, you can find those, you can find some other uh, Windows artifacts like recycle bin files, unique logons and um, OSX artifact parser. So once you go through with all of these options carefully, just click on OK. That will take quite a long time depending on how many uh, things you have asked in case evidence processor to process. 
and um, then once it is done uh, it will be done there will be a different place to see all the processed file uh, remember after processing is complete in case will not give you a message like processing is done once processing will continue you will see on right hand corner it will say processing 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 and once it is done it will be done after all the processing is done you go back to the home of the case and from here you can find uh, some other stuffs like artifacts case analyzer and a couple of other things now uh, on my um, one thing i want you to remember in case evidence processor is the feature which does all of these what i just showed you there is something called case processor absolutely different thing from evidence processor in case evidence processor will prepare your whole evidence so that you as investigator can go through with everything by spending very minimum time but case processor on the other hand will just help you to find some orphaned mbr and vbr if you saw my other tutorial or if you were in my class for um, uh, master boot record analysis then you may have noticed uh, we have used case processor so quick differentiation case processor is a simple script goes through with all the sectors we we'll look for or found mbr vbr in case evidence processor is the most powerful feature for whole in case which will prepare the case for you to investigate okay so uh, that was everything really we wanted to have a quick introduction of in case evidence processor all the functions evidence processor comes with and how this could be useful thank you i will see you on next tutorial